बाजी सोचो
Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome back to another episode of I Chongqing and Bridging News Channels. This is Echo Chang. In order to show the image of the Western region, expand the opening up and the cooperation, the fifth Western China International Fair for Trade and Investment, aka WCIFIT, will be held at Chongqing International Export Center and Chongqing Yulai International Convention Center for the May. 18 and May 21, 2023. Under the annual theme, Inland China Opening Up an Innovative and Development Driving Driven by Digital Technology, this year's WCIFIT highlights the achievements of digital transformation in open innovation, including thematic activities and exhibitions. Malaysia is the guest country, and China, Sichuan, and Gansu provinces are the guest provinces. 21 events will be held during the fair to create a high-end investment and trade platform. So what are the highlights of the WCI FIT this year? How to interpret the development of the intellectual field in Chongqing and even in Western China? Today, we have the owner uh, featuring the special guest who embodies the spirit of a cutting edge technology and trade advancement. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Huang Bo, the uh, estimated representative from Scenic Evo Technology Company LTD. Scenic Evo Technology has been a driven force behind transformative advancements in virus industries, pushing boundaries and shaping the future. As the Vice General Manager of Scenic Evo Technology Company, LTD, Mr. Huang Bo has played a, a pivotal role in driving the company's growth and leading growth groundbreaking innovatives. He will bring the observation on trade in Western China from the perspective of a company head. In addition to our esteemed guests, this year we have two dedicated journalists, Kang Zheng and Wang Zhiyu from I Chongqing, reporting live from the site. They will be bringing you a real-time observations, first-hand experience, and captivating insights into the high-tech wonders and vibrant trade opportunities that the Western region for China has to offer. Through their reporting, we will witness the dynamic energy and flourishing potential of Western China's trade landscape, as well as the technological marvels that are driven its growth. So without further ado, now let's embark on the exciting adventure from Kang Zheng and Wang Zhiyu. Hello, your voice 
Okay, guys, so we can't hear you really clearly now. Hi, guys. It's obviously that we are having some connecting problems on the site. So let the guy are the guys are fixing that. Uh, before we do that, um, we can wait a minute and say goodbye. Uh, say, I'm sorry, say hello to our followers on comments area. Because it's been a long time. I think it has been a week since we've been producing our last episode of live stream show. And I want you guys to stay tuned with us because today, because there will be two live stream shows on the WCI FIT site. Hello. Hello,你们的麦克风取一下吗? Hey guys. Hello. Okay. 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 Hello, Echo. This is Kang Zhen and Zhi Yu. Right now, we are at the fifth Western China International Fair for Investment and Trade. And today, we are going to explore the flash flashes the scenes happening here. So do you, do you yes. know the event hap, event of the, the scene of the event? It's joining hands with the West for a brighter future. Yes, so how will you comprehend this sentence? You know, I was not born in Western China, mm -hmm. but I do know that Western China has great potentials for development. And I also know that Western China International Fair for Investment and Trade is a crucial driver for uh, promoting international and domestic cooperation. And it's also an important window for China's Western region to carry forward its opening up and its, um, its cooperation. And and I also know that this year's theme is in the uh, China, uh, inland China, in a innovative and uh, inland China. I'm sorry, and inland China opening up and innovative development driven by digital technology. So, Kang Kang, what is your impression of Western China? Yes, you know, I'm a native person. Yes, and I was born in Chongqing. Chongqing is a mountainous city and uh, a charming city located in the southwest of China and its history can be traced back to 3000 years ago and uh, it's famous for its mouth watering food like Chongqing hot pot and uh, a lot of scenic beauty and uh, cultural relics like Nanshan mountain and the uh, rock carvings so apart from Chongqing other western provinces in China also they are also charming and uh, so we can see more and more people are rushing to Chongqing and even the western part of China for uh, job opportunities, for business opportunities. So now we have arrived the Chongqing Pavilion. Yes. I can't wait to explore it. Let's so let's go. Let's go. Okay. As we can say, uh, I heard this venue is more than 1,000 sweaters, and uh, you can say uh, it's full of high take, right? And uh, it combines the LD screen and uh, some pictures, videos, and the multi uh, media equipment. So you can see many scientific and agri and uh, uh, technological products here. Yes, so Zhi Yu, could you please uh, introduce Chongqing a little bit for our audience? Yes, Chongqing Pavilion showcases seven aspects of Chongqing's inland open highland construction building an inland international logistics hub and port highland.
creating a high energy open platform, creating a demonstration zone for high quality development of open economy. The main indicators of inland open highland construction, building a model city with an international first class business environment and building a modernized new showing that Chongqing leads the inland open innovation development by digitalization and leads the openness of the western region. Okay. Wait, we have found this one, this machine. So, yes. Zhu Yu, could you please uh, uh, to introduce this for us? Well, this is actually the building strong opening at Forms Booth. Yes. And we can see that a, a, a network of opening up platforms has been set up, including strategic platforms, industrial parks, function platforms, and events. We can see there that we have we have this um, actually it's from another region, I think. Yes, um, we have China Singapore Chongqing demonstration in the initiative of strategic connecting and we have breakthroughs that have been made in the, in uh, the development priorities of various sections of China pilot free trade zone. And we also have Liangjiang new area and we also have West Western China Chongqing City, uh, which is also known as Chongqing High Tech Zone. Yes, and uh, let's move to this place. I can't see a machine, right? So, do you know something about that? I think it's a med medical machine. And medical machine? Yes. Okay. I think it's uh, something about ultrasound. And so, what's this machine's name? Haifu Knife. Haifu Knife. Okay. Yes. So could you please introduce okay. a little bit for us? Okay, so Haifu Dao is a registered trademark of the product. Uh, it's focused ultrasound tumor treatment system. The team of Haifu insists on the path of original innovation and has been the first in the world to break through the key core technology of focused ultrasound ablation for tumor treatment. Haifu Medical has a number of key core technology. After more than 20 years of technology research and development and industrialization development, Haifu Medical has developed three serious and more models of high-end medical equipment for the treatment of tumors, common diseases, rehabilitation, and healthcare with focused ultrasound. And now we can see our the beaters are yes. demonstrated. We can see how the ultrasound goes through the hand and make uh, infects on the glass without hurting the hand. So it's actually very good for uh, treat uh, tumor treatment, I think. Yes. Really cool. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you. Much. And uh, let's continue our journey in Chongqing Pavilion. Oh. We can see in the uh, the other part pavilion, we have more models and uh, cool things to explore and see with our own eyes. Yes. For example, this motorcycle. It's really cool because Chongqing is actually a mountain city, so uh, with bikes with this more this kind of motorcycle, you can have a more convenient and uh, flexible way for your commute and uh, like travel. Yes, yes, you can avoid the traffic jams. Yes, yes. So I heard that this uh, this model specific mo uh, motorcycle, uh, its monitor actually is originated from uh, this great brand BMW, and yes. it also yes. has voice interactions security alarms and electronic lock for a more a smarter and a convenient life. Yes. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. Chongqing is an important modern manufacturing base in China. Chongqing has all 31 manufacturing is the output value of six pillar industries, including biomedicine and advanced materials, has, has surpassed RMB. 
100 billion. The output value of the automobile and the electronic sectors has reached RMB 450 billion and uh, uh, RMB 700 billion, effectively. Chongqing ranks among the top five in China in terms of export value of automobiles and the motorcycles. So we can see the success of our city. We have this really cool car here. I think it's your energy vehicle. So, Kang, I know that you live a little bit far from our office. And how do you commute? Like, what's your way of uh, going to work every day? Yes, we, uh, last year I have changed car into an uh, electronic car. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think it has many uh, advantages compared okay. with the full powered vehicles. And uh, uh, I don't know whether you have heard us say that if you start to use the uh, uh, electronic vehicle and then you will abandon the full uh, powered vehicle. Because it offers you a better experience. Yes, yes. So, Zhu, could you please introduce a little bit uh, this serious uh, car? So this car is actually a full, a full electronic. So it, it only uses electronic energies, and it also has some very cool and advanced technolo technologies, such as it can adjust the charging model for uh, charging modes to uh, better pro 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 protect your batteries and to uh, make your make your driving driving uh, in a more convenient and smart way yeah i think that's it okay and uh, i'd like to introduce a serious group a uh, serious group is a technology manufacturer company with the new energy vehicles as its core business the group's business involves the research and development manufacture sales and the service of new energy vehicles and the quarter electric battery electric drive and electrical control, traditional vehicles and the core component assemblies. Okay, now we have to move to another pavilion. So the another pavilion is related to the international pavilion. So you know Chongqing is a center for international exchange, yes. central and uh, western China. Yes. So do you know the guest country of this year's uh, event? Yes, it's shown here. The guest country of this year is Malaysia. Okay, let's have a look. So now we are going to visit the international pavilion. <laughs> So to, talking about uh, uh, Malaysia, what's your impression about that? Well, I don't know much about it, but I do know that Malaysia is actually very close to China, and we have some uh, very uh, so some of the brands in Malaysia are also very popular and welcomed in China and in Chinese people's daily life. As we can see here, they have shown some of the most popular and well-known brands from Malaysia. Uh, they have some bird nest, they have some co coconut products and uh, some fruits like the king, the Musan King durians. Actually, it's very good. It's uh, very tasty and has a great reputation among us durian lovers. Yes. And I also know that besides the business, uh, business and uh, com communications between China and the Malaysia. Malaysia is also one of the most popular uh, destination Chinese students to study abroad. And I know that Kang, you are uh, actually you have the experience of studying abroad. So, what is your considerations when you choose your majors and the country that you are going to? Yes, to be honest, I have considered to study in Malaysia because I think maybe this country has uh, several advantages. The first one uh, I have to take into my consideration is the tuition fee. Yeah. Yes, compared with the traditional uh, Western countries like UK and uh, the USA and uh, uh, some uh, European countries, okay. the tuition fee is much lower, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Safety, I think uh, we need to take it. Yes. And uh, this country is safe. 
And uh, another uh, thing I maybe I will uh, take it uh, into my consideration is uh, the the ACT uh, because the Han ACT in Malaysia mm -hmm. uh, accounts for a great uh, number. Yes, so <laughs> that could give me a feeling that I am in China, <laughs> a, a, a feeling of home. Oh, a feeling of home. That's yes. very nice. So, look, uh, what uh, top universities in Malaysia? They have specifically set up this area to show some of the best and the most popular uh, universities in Malaysia. Okay. And each of them, each of them has their has their goals and their their uh, teachers uh, to promote and tell you more about their universities. Okay, I'd like to interview uh staff here. So okay. is that okay? <laughs> okay, let me try. So, hello, 你好。呃，我是重庆广播中心的记者，然后呃，您会说英文吗？ Uh, 好,我可以下一位啊。啊,你好,我们是从事国际传播中心的记者,然后想采访你一下, so what's the benefits of studying in the Malaysia? Oh,Malaysia,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,那个,
and some of the really advanced technology companies. Hong Kong, do you want to tell us more about it? Okay, uh, Gansu is a province in northwest China, known for its unique geographic location and the rich resources. Industries in this region are dominated by agriculture, energy, and tourism. Agriculture is an important part of Gansu's economy due to the province's vast farmland and the suitable climate conditions. The cultivation industry is well developed. Energy industry also has an important position in Gansu. The province is rich in coal, oil, and gas and wind energy resources. Tourism is one of the important pillar industries in Gansu. The province has a rich and a diverse natural and cultural landscape, including the important node of the Silk Road, Dunhuang Bo Gao Caves, Xinghai Lake, etc. So these attractions attract a large number of domestic and for and promote the development of the local tourism. Okay, follow our camera. Have you been to Gansu province before? I have not, but I have uh, heard a lot about Gansu, especially about its new energy. It's really well known uh, in even in the world, and we can see that many people are here showing their interests in Gansu province. Yeah. So I think like Chongqing, Gansu also has great potentials for development. Yes. And I hope to see more communications uh, between Chongqing and Gansu. Now let's. I think it's time for us to go to the next pavilion yeah. of our guest province, Sichuan province. Okay. Sichuan pavilion is actually also very cool. We can see the colors are very vibrant. It's white and yellow. Gives you a very futuristic and a warm feel. Yeah. And it makes me feel energetic, this color. All right. Okay. Uh, so, Zuyue, let me quiz you. I know you are not. Uh, <laughs> I no, not, I was not born in Western China. Not a person in Western China. So, uh, can you recognize all the figures and the same buildings? I think I can. Okay, let's have a try. This is San Xingdui. Yes, San Xingdui. A uh, like the uh, famous figure from ancient tomb. I think we just discovered last year. Yeah, and, the and some people get uh -huh. this. This uh, history comes from the alien. <laughs> oh, I can see the. I can see the connections here. Maybe, maybe. Okay. And this one is actually one of the most famous uh, poets in China. And I also like him very much. His name is Shi, and uh -huh. his uh, his poems and articles show great passion for this nation and for this nation's people, and it's very inspiring. And the 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 these three these uh they are Jiu Zai Go uh is actually a national and international well known uh tourism. As well as Erme Mountain and the Lushan Buddha. And the last one, of course, is Giant Panda. And uh, when, when people think of or talk about pandas, they always think of Sichuan province. But actually, we can also find pandas, cute pandas in Chongqing. So when you speak of uh, giant pandas, you can also have a look in Chongqing. Yeah. I hope so. Okay. So. Now I'd like to uh, invite Zhi Yu to introduce Sichuan province for our audience. Okay. So Sichuan is a province in southwest China, and the Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle refers to the economic cooperation region formed by Chengdu, the provincial capital of Sichuan province, and Chongqing, the city. The region is known for its strong economic power and vast market potential. The Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle is one of the most important economic centers in Western China. 
This region, with its rich natural resources, good infrastructure, and excellent geographical location, has become a popular destination for attracting investment and promoting economic development. It has significant competitive advantages in the manufacturing, service, and high-tech sectors. Yes. So our cameraman Wen Hao is showing these awesome models and presentations of what we have been talking about. Okay, let's have a look. What areas are in the Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle? So. We can say uh, Yongchuan, Neijiang, Dazhu, Ziyang. So right now, we just need to spend uh, one hour from Chongqing to Chengdu. So we can have a one day live circle, right? That's so I can video. have uh, Chongqing noodles in the morning, and then I could have uh, Sichuan hot pot in Chengdu in the afternoon. Yes, so, so it's very convenient. Some people call Chongqing and the Chengdu as twin cities because it's really convenient for the people in these two cities to communicate. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay, now I have to see. Flashes, let's see. So, do the really, what's this? I think it's a uh, stimulation happen for you to to for you to experience and uh, feel like a pilot of an airplane and key because we have a guest here to experience right now so we can have a close look it's really cool because you have this the three monitors to experience for you to experience this kind of four view all around flying kind of feelings i think after this experience you can actually become a real pilot one day it's really cool okay so you want have a try well i think um our guest here is already experienced and i think we have had enough of this. Okay, now the exhibitors are coming and she will introduce more details of this machine. Welcome. Hi. 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 Uh, hello, 大家好, 欢迎大家来到第五届西洽会四川馆那我们这个模拟飞行体验舱so this cabin is actually not only for you to experience as a pilot, you also have this access to various classes to really become a pilot. And this cabin is actually uh, approved by the Flying Association in Sichuan. Okay, have a try. Just have a try. So how can I start this session? Well, guys, as we can see here in front of me, we have three monitors and this really cool equipment machine, which I don't understand, but I think it's just really cool. And I'm so happy to have this chance to experience it on my own. Uh, okay, we are flying now. You can use a holder. You want to turn the left, left, 
put your arm. Oh, okay. Like this? Yes. You want to go right? So. All right. Yes, we are too late. Go up. The engine power is out. Like this? Yes. Ooh. So the engine is running now. This will just the and it will be controlled the air, air valve pitch at the door. Oh, okay, okay. Like this? Speed up the edge. Like this? Yes. And? Relax. Oh, I can I can hear the engine running. Right. You see, right, right. Ah, oh, no, 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 I'm going. <laughs> so, how can I like this? Like this? Oh, now I'm going. I don't think I can feel silent. Maybe five bucks. Oh, okay, so over 55, we can say call. Like this. So, now we are in this. And are we in the sky? Well, already in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good pilot, so please don't take my plane. Oh, wow, but that's that's really good. Oh. oh no, guys, I'm dead. I'm so sorry, but this is really fun. So I'm gonna just stick to my own work, and I'm not gonna be a pilot. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, so that was a really. I really admire. I admire your experience. Thank you. So I'm now actually officially a ghost speaking to you from Sichuan Pavilion, and I hope you enjoy my failure. And so, uh, actually, there are much more to present uh, in this area in, yeah. in the this and we don't have so much time left now so that's it for our part and now back to you i call in the studio see you later i'm gonna put myself on the screen so that we can continue our talking and conversation with mr huang hello. um hello so i'm gonna have to ask mr huang to briefly introduce yourself and your former and present field mm -hmm. in this industry okay okay uh, hello echo hello everyone hi my name is huang bo from sync evo Com and technology company limited and first of all, I would like to thank iChongqing platform gave this opportunity to uh, talking and uh, communicate with everyone today. Uh, think Evo is a joint venture company of Qinghua, Tongfang, and Liu Tech company and Yuxin O supply chain management company. Uh, headquarter based uh, in Chongqing since 2019 and laying on the support from Tsinghua University and the resource of our shareholders and central and local state-owned enterprises. We are mainly engaged in digital transformation and the practice of some different kinds of high technologies, such as big data, AI, uh, Internet of Things and also digital transformation. And the way our projects uh, apply in uh, smart ports um, and the transportation, smart logistic of international supply chain, and also uh, in smart uh, environment protection, smart uh, public culture, and over safety, <coughs> and so on. Uh, in a word, shortly, our company is a, a high technology service company gathered uh, industrial, university, research, and practice as one. For myself, I used to serve uh, in uh, international logis logistics as Yuxin O Railway for more than 10 years, and uh, also uh, multimodal transportation and uh, cross-border the e-commerce logistic between China and the Europe. And now I'm in the, this, this company and the charge of some 
uh, projects of ports and the transportation and also international logistics and so on. So, as you said that uh, the Senegi Vol is committed to the industrial transformation in high tech. Yeah. Um, please introduce the core com competitiveness of this business segment at the technical level, as well as its development impact in the field of uh, smart port and logistics in Chongqing, mm -hmm. and especially in the Western regions in China. Mm -hmm. Yes, we uh, have committed to uh, industrial transformation uh, of different kinds of technologies. It's also our mission of this joint venture. Um, uh, for us, the, our, we have some advantages about, uh, for example, smart ports and, and logistic. Uh, we have some advantages. First, we have uh, technology and uh, innovation ability support from Tsinghua University, Chongqing University, and also our shared headers, just mm -hmm. as I said. And second, we have a very, very professional team, uh, and some guys from uh, granted from the, the university, the Tsinghua University, Chongqing University, and other research center. Mm -hmm. And the, the third, um, uh, we have extensive uh, market network. Not in the, not only in Chongqing, but also all the world, all the China and the China, uh, Southeast Asia, and also Europe, Mid Asia, a lot of uh, other um, parts. And the the fourth, uh, we have rich and different <coughs> and rich industrial experience, because. Uh, we do industrial transformation in different industrial, some manufacturing, some chemistry, and some medicine, some other uh, environmental protection, other area. And the last is our uh, nice bread and uh, public press. Mm. So I think this is all. <laughs> so... I think it's a new, it's definitely new field for us to understand this high tech development in the smart logistics and uh, smart expo mm -hmm. um, field industry in, mm -hmm. in Chongqing, right? Because yeah. you've been talking about uh, there has been uh, much more, you know, propaganda or advertisement for this field recently. But since we've been, you know, inviting you here, I surely want to know how does your company attract talents and, you know, strengthen the cooperation between industry, academia, research in institutions, mm -hmm. and enhance the collaboration between enterprises, universities, and research institutions? Mm -hmm. And how does the company promote the transformation of scientific you know, and technological achievements. It's really important. I and mean, that's the core essence of how this enterprise, the high tech enterprises in the WCI FTI, mm. um, how they've been, you know, attract investment and mm. to promote their technology. I mean, how do you yes. think of that? Uh, yes, we we do a lot about the students and uh, promote the, the cooperation between industry, university, and research. Uh, actually, I can at the beginning I can share more about uh, what we did before. And um, under uh, actually under uh, one bit and the one road initiative, uh, we uh, the. Our two shareholders uh, sent the joint venture in Chongqing to push some uh, high new technology and on the um, international logistic and connect to invite the new business. So we uh, actually we have been <coughs> we have been uh, participated the international project about China and the Kazakhstan and about uh, trade secret and fisher fisher efficientation in smart regular and uh, cooperation uh, in Xinjiang before 
uh, it's uh, I think it's a good uh, test and uh, project between China and the middle uh, Asia country about deep cooperation and uh, uh, develop the possibility. This is a, a, a high level, and we also did some. The, uh, we have done some um, some digital construction projects about the customers' comprehensive bonded rules and also bonded warehouse uh, management system in Chongqing, in Sichuan, and also in Jiangsu, uh, other provinces of China. Hmm. And also for some uh, uh, multimodal ports, uh, just like uh, Goyuan ports, we also have some uh, the uh, project to do the uh, industrial transformation and uh, connect to um, uh, the railway, the highway, the riverway, and also sea uh, airway. Uh, yeah, yes, this, the, the air and transportation container, multimodal transport, mm -hmm. and uh, ways the technology, business, and the data, some technology together. So we push some of this project. So as before, we did a lot of uh, very excellent project, and uh, we uh, um, push the cooperation university and uh, um, industry university and uh, uh, research we have i think we have five kinds of the experience one is that we need a very good perfect uh, project the cooperation mechanism uh, this is very important to gather different teams the second is we keep we keep cinematic uh, a project uh, communicate uh, and uh, talking directly and uh, and sharing and the third is a way joint jointly build and share resource uh, a different project uh, resource and uh, we also build some industry and uh, develop the research center to do some uh, special project and uh, finally uh, we have um, connected the project. So we push the personal shift between different teams. And uh, for us, for our company, uh, how to attract the high level talent to, to enjoy us. Yes, so firstly, we do a lot of project. Uh, you can say this company is a high position uh, company platform. So this is very important. If uh, uh, everyone will say name what you did and uh, how uh, how about the company, the second is uh, uh, there are very uh, good career op uh, develop opportunity for uh, these people, and the third uh, about the corporate culture uh, for Cinco uh, Evo, our culture uh, our uh, company culture is a family. So we are family, <laughs> just like this. And the fourth is uh, you always get the support from the high quality team. And the finally, and also the most important is uh, comp uh, competitive salary and the welfare. <laughs> yes. For sure, for sure. I think your company definitely has the advantages to attract talents from high tech field. And we believe these you know options these uh issues and subjects that you just mentioned about this cooperation between research field research in, uh, institution and uh, the apply application mm -hmm. um uh, function in your business is definitely important and definitely how these enterprises were doing at this WCI FIT fair in today's site. Um, let's just see, there are so many comments are popping up on our comments area. And before we enter the next part of our conversation, I'm gonna have to ask Kang Zheng and Zhi Yu to show up again in front of the camera. So, hey guys, are you guys ready for your next part? 
Thank you guys. Thank you, Albury Kick and John and our new friend Mike New here. They are presenting subjects like how great Chongqing is and how important the Belt and Road Initiative is to a country like China and the countries along this initiative. It's really um, a huge, major worldwide national worldwide strategic plan and hey guys are you guys ready for your next de destination here hi hey guys so where is our host right now i mean Where is the host? And and you are on mute. Please stop mute this mic. Tao Tao, your that is is mute. Tao Tao, you don't mute. You don't have a voice. Tao Tao, the microphone is not muted. Oh. Hey guys, what are you guys doing right now? Hi. I'm sorry. I have to call you guys to unmute this button. So it's obviously been a problem since we are. Hello, Echo. This is the Council and Zhi Yu. Right now, we are at the N3 venue of this year's Western China International Fair for Investment and Trade. And this place is called the Comprehensive Trade Pavilion. So, so we do know what will be present in this area. Yes. Very hot comprehensive trade mainly show domestic and foreign high quality consumer goods, both commodities and service industry products and commodity trading platform function. So we can see many uh, international and uh, well known brands and companies in this area. <laughs> Hello, hello, Echo. Right now we are at the N3 venue of this year's so Western China International Fair for Investment. Yes. And this place is called the Comprehensive Trade Pavilion. And now we are continuing our exploration in this uh, flashiest uh, venue. All right, so number three hall, comprehensive trade hall, mainly show domestic and foreign high quality consumer goods, bulk communities and service industry products, and the commodity trading platform function. So we can see that there are many international and world well known brands from China uh, and such as Mountain. They also bring their cultural products here. And actually, this in this year's uh, fair, we have so many areas, so many pavilions, so many brands, as well as so many counties and districts in China, uh, in Chongqing and uh, in Sichuan, Chengdu. So now we're gonna take you on another pavilion, number five, I think, which is uh, specifically. Okay, maybe we need wait. Specifically set up uh as uh, with the name of Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle Pavilion. Yes. yes. Yeah. I think uh, this place is really an eye face for our audience and citizens if you are interested in this year's expo. Uh, because these products are closely related the alcohol, the salt, and the some cultural products, right? So uh, I am 100% confident that you will get something from this year's event. 
and uh, you could have a chance to witness the soft power and uh, the hot power of this region. Wow. Uh, that's yes. awesome. Yes. You are also awesome, by the way, <laughs> for telling us so much information about the, the international affair. Yeah. And now we have arrived to the county uh, and the district. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. This is the Peng Shui. Oh, this is Peng Shui. So, so I think that this architecture is full of Chinese traditional and the ethnic uh, and the cultural identity, right? Yes, it's really uh, recognizable. As soon as you look at it, you can tell that it's Chinese, it's tradition, and it's about our minority nations. Yes. So many people, so many colors. Okay, here we can see the name of the district or the uh, country has changed their logo, right? It adds yes. more Chengdu Chongqing economic circle elements in their titles. Yes, so not only they are uh, considering or promoting their own roles and the characteristics, they also put themselves in this big blueprint of Chengdu Chongqing economic uh, circle as well as international land and sea corridor. So it's really about cooperation, it's about regional work together. Okay, now we have arrived at Fengdu County. You know, Fengdu is my home, and uh, uh, it's, maybe you know this place is for another land, uh, the ghost city. So you can say the slogans here, a city with 100 uh, uh, years of ghost culture and uh, 5,000 years of, of the Phoenix culture. Yes, so uh, apart from that, the ghost culture, Famous for its uh, food, the Fengdu spicy chicken. So I know uh, maybe Zhi Yu could have a try. So we can try it. Okay, okay. I'd like to invite Zhi Yu to try. Thank you. You know, I was not born in Chongqing, but I really love spicy food. And I have heard a lot about spicy chicken from Fengdu, Hong Kong's hometown. Now I'm going to give it a try. It's really spicy. spicy. <laughs> I kind of choked, about, choked up a little bit, but I managed to swallow it down. And I think it's really tasty because the spicy and the other ingredients, the spice, spices, uh, they really combine, combine real, uh, well together. And it look, looks very delicious. Very delicious. Uh, we can say many people are queuing for this delicious food. So you can say how popular it is. It's really tasty. So if you have a chance, please give it a try. It's really delicious. Okay, right now we have arrived at the Yunyang Pavilion. Okay, Yunyang is located in the northeast of Chongqing. Maybe it's known for another land, the world dinosaur capital. So if you are a big fan of dinosaurs, you can't miss out this place because there are many dinosaur fossils that have been found in this place. And so you can see a yes, dinosaur that's here. So <laughs> So, you know, uh, Yunyang is in the, uh, the, the three gorgeous uh, yes. festival. Yes, so, yes. could you know more counties in this area? Yes. Yunyang is one of Chongqing's districts, uh, counties that is located in three gorgeous festivals. 
And we also have Zhongxian and Dianjiang, which are from Sichuan province. Uh, in this way, we can see that Chongqing and the Sichuan, Chongqing and the Chengdu really have really close connections and communications. And the three Gorton Reservoirs area actually uh, benefits, give, give, give many benefits to the local people as well as to the economic development. Okay. And uh, uh, yeah. and we can see many agricultural products are sailing. So they are, I think it's a good way for those farmers in the mountainous uh, village to help them to get rid of the poverty. So and uh, uh, Chongqing and even the western part of China have made a great progress in poverty alleviation. Yes. Yeah, we can say only the sources, right? And the Yunyang noodles. And these are the products that uh, are, are selling, being sold overseas. So if you study abroad, if you live abroad, but you miss your hometown, China, you can, or if you don't just don't live in China and want a taste of China Chongqing. Uh, these are the products that you can find in the market in your local market. Okay. And then we will visit the only world cultural heritage in Chongqing. That's Dazu Rock Carvings, right? Yes. So let's go. Dazu Rock Carvings was put, was built in Tang Dynasty, and it has reached its high is uh, art uh, uh, art skill at Song Dynasty, and it represents the highest art skills at that time. And we can see that this also has a lot of agricultural products. They are exporting to overseas. So, Zhu Yu, uh, I know I have made a short video recently to yes. introduce that. So, you could quit me <laughs> to uh, introduce that. So, can you recognize all of the places, the uh, attractions? Yes. Here, really? uh, yes, this is the Zhu Rock Carving uh, Museum. And you can say this building is full of Chinese traditional architecture. Yes. Characteristics. Yes. And uh, they are Dazu rubber carvings. And uh, this is the Long Sui Lake. Long Sui Lake, you could have a boat in here. Yeah, in summer. <laughs> wow. Okay. Really awesome. And in front of us, we can see many sculptures. And uh, Dazu district makes full use of its advantages and foster a great number of Dazu uh, And uh, the Dazu rubber carving economy is also booming in Dazu district. Yeah, we can see these sculptures are really exquisite and elegant, right? Yes. <laughs> Okay, finish our journey in Dazu. Where shall we go? I think it's time for us to go to number seven hall. The counties and the district uh, yeah. pavilions are all located there. Uh, besides of this, because number five, I think it's specifically about Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle, and the number seven is other very special and important counties and districts. Oh, this is Jiangjin. We have seen that every Korean have showcased their most advanced and really cool models and technology uh, developments results here.
And now we are going to the ensemble. Yes. Yeah. So there will be more counties for districts. In Chongqing. Yeah. Yes. So it's raining outside. So if you want to have a chance to witness this year's uh, event, don't forget to bring your umbrellas. Yeah. Well, now this uh, theme of the the in, the fair is in, about innovative and the digital development and the investment and the trade. And the Chongqing, uh, the city is actually formed by districts and counties. So that's why it's really important to get to know about the counties and the districts. And it's really important for the counties and districts to present themselves and to promote themselves in this big picture. We can see that every pavilion has put so many thoughts uh, in their designs uh, and on how they will represent themselves to show us the coolest technologies, the digital development, and the strengths and advantages of their own houses and the districts. So now we arrive uh, at Banan's pavilion, Banan district. I think their pavilion design is great this year, as we can see, we have a lot of samples that are welcoming us with this very cool LED screen from the sky to the ground. Let's have a closer look. All right, so we can see Fanai's showcasing their technologies products, their digital products, and there's one thing that I want to talk uh, more about Banda, which is their, which is their highway logistics space, because the highway logistics space is, is located in Banda district, and as the starting point, a total of nine transport artery lines have been opened for Asia and Central Asia by Chongqing cross-border highway regular it's building up an international logistics system with cross-border highway transport as the city and highway railway and highway city as a supplement. A cross-border highway transport network linking Europe and Central Asia and covering Asia has been formed. The headquarters space for Asian trade services are taking shape and deeply integrated to the construction of the new Western Fantasy Corridor. So we can say that Bada is actually a crucial point in the construction of the new Western Fantasy Corridor. And now we're back to the front store district. We have so we can see that they are projecting motorcycles. Okay, right now we have arrived at the Chongqi Sha Sha Ping Bang, Yes. And many universities 
are located in that area, including Chongqing University. University. Yeah. And now we have seen a uh, green screen. Yes, a green screen here. Yeah. So I think it is a human machine interaction a technology and Let's invite Kang Kang to give it a try. Yeah, I'd like to try. So, you can Okay, okay. 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 Right, so, now Kang Kang is working. He's going into this green screen, and we can already see him. He's in front of the tickle now. It's really cool. So, this technology is actually called virtual reality. Yes. So, this virtual reality. A uh, technology can be used in a live streaming, which is a really popular uh, like profession now, and you can also use it in virtual meetings. Now you don't have to uh, to go out to actually go out to go out. It's really cool, and this technology is developed by uh, this local company in Chongqing which shows us how advanced and how um, cool our our local technology our technology companies has have been developing yes uh, um, in the hollywood uh, move movie yeah really cool. and uh, recently i have noticed that uh, when i use my phone to watch TikToks, i can see many uh internet celebrities using this technology to selling uh, products, especially the touring products. It will show how beautiful that uh, it will show how beautiful that it is. Yes, now we are arriving at Yubei uh, district of the pavilion. Yubei is actually one of the one of the three districts uh, of Fort to build a international consumption center. And besides Yubei districts, we also have Jiangbei and the Shenzhou districts, which are also have having their pavilions somewhere around here. But now back to Yubei. Okay, as we can see, the Chongqing University of Post and the Television unites uh, Yubei District to create the uh, industry, internet, internet academic uh, institution. So I'd like to introduce the Chongqing University of uh, Telecommunications and the Post, founded in 1915, Chongqing University of uh, in Telecommunications and the Post. Is regarded as the birthplace of the telecommunications in China. And I think that it's a good example for us to uh, unite the academy, the research, the industry together. And uh, by introducing this kind of high tech, this kind of high quality ed education to Yubei district, it could uh, boost the intelligence economy in that area. Yes, and, and also Chongqing uh, have four comprehensive transportation hubs, and one of them is located in Yubei district. We all know that uh, Jiangbei International Airport is here, and the total number of international airports of Jiangbei International Airport has actually reached 106, with access to 77 cities in 35 countries. A global international air route network has essentially been built up, and the international cargo throughput has ranked first in Western China for years in a row. At present, there are 280 destinations on five continents through direct international flights and the transit routes building up an air corridor covering Europe, America, Australia, Asia, and Africa for passengers and cargo. So Yubei is actually really important for Chongqing to build up a international center city uh, in, uh, in, the, in this traffic way and also in the uh, economic way. And now we are moving to B San Pavilion. You know, Bingshan actually has a uh, really strong industrial uh, advantage. Do you know that the brand, the 
their program to be a BYD. Oh, I know that. Uh, and uh, yesterday or recently, I have noticed the uh, data that uh, the domestic uh, value of the domestic car uh, importing overseas has exceeded uh, Japan. Wow. Yeah, so that I think that marks us the success it's of Chinese car. Yes, so new energy uh, vehicles are actually a hot topic. It's really the new energy vehicles made in China are really popular among the world now. And I also know that BYD, the brand, from this January to April, the total overseas sales of BYD are more than 50,000, and it's almost the total number of last year. So it's a really exciting number. And BYD has this very international reputation for its new energy vehicles. And some of its major product projects are actually located in Bishan. You know, Bishan is focusing on the industry trend of new energy vehicle related outputs and has reached an industry cluster output value exceeding 7.2 billion US dollars. And Bishan is becoming a recognizable and influential industry base. So, uh, for you, uh, new energy vehicle, maybe the battery is made in Bishan, Chongqing. Okay. And this area is actually between uh, China and the Vietnam. Mm -hmm. This promotion center of Vietnam is actually located in Bishan. So Bishan actually also plays a very important role in international communications and connections. We can see that many counties and districts uh, are introducing their parts in uh, land and the sea, uh, in national corridor, the western land and sea in, uh, corridor, and uh, this is all. Uh, this is also how they show their uh, interests, their contributions to the national strategies, including the Belt and the Road Initiative. The Chengdu uh, Chongqing Economic Circle and so on. So I think this is the end of this part. Uh, I hope we have shown you enough of our districts and counties, pavilion, and we hope you enjoyed our tour. Yes. Now back, back to you, I hope. Uh, yes. Or... Once again, I'd like to invite all of you to this the Western China International Fair for Investment and Trade. And I wish you a pleasant, fruitful, and productive journey in Chongqing. So that's the end. Back to Echo. And uh, see you next year. Thank you guys. Thank you for your really fascinating introduction of the fifth WCIFIT on site. And it's been an honor for me to invite our guest, Mr. Huang Bo, um, at a Cynic Evolve company. And we can keep continue, you know our conversation about your insights about this opening up high technology field to develop Chongqing as a major strategic national plan for the Western side of China. So as a business leader, what are the advantages and challenges for a local companies like Cynic Evo uh, to develop in Chongqing's digital economy? Actually, uh, under the leadership of the Chongqing government, uh, we push the uh, digital uh, Chongqing project. Everyone, every uh, local company and the other company are uh, embraced and uh, participated in the develop economic, uh, the digital economic. Uh, as a local uh, company, and I think the uh, the advantages uh, just like this. Uh, first, the Chongqing uh, there is a, po a policy advantages because Chongqing developed very fast, and uh, it's also the only uh, municipality in inland of China. The second, I think, is the attention and the promotion of Chongqing government. 
this will be very important. Nowadays, digital <coughs> Chongqing project is uh, the high level, high level project of all the government. The third is uh, Chongqing is the very, very important industrial base of all the China. So different, um, uh, different kinds of the industry uh, can uh, invite a lot of projects and opportunities. And the last is uh, talent advantages, I think. Um, I read some the data about it. Uh, every year, more than 300,000 uh, students uh, graduated from local school and the university in Chongqing every year. And this year, I think maybe more. Yeah. Uh, this is advantages. And also, we faced a lot of challenges. And uh, about it, I think most uh, the first is. Uh, uh, the challenging is the shortage and the loss of a uh, high level talent uh, in local. Uh, this is very important because uh, uh, compared to Shanghai, Beijing, uh, Chongqing did more attract the high level talent. The second is the lack of financial support of the, this area part. The third is uh, in the market, still, uh, there are still uh, homogeneous compete of at a low uh, level. Uh, this is uh, this is true of the market. And finally, is the uh, difficult of the digital transfer machine about some uh, area such as manufacturing uh, and the chemistry industry and the medicine industry. So you, this project is difficult. Mm -hmm. So it's need time and the way and the experience and the, okay, it's where we are, we are step by step. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you because the there, there always has been some um problems and shortages of this few, but we mm -hmm. are working on it, and I think the foundation in the corroboration and development of the field that you just mentioned mm -hmm. and also the shortage of the high-end talents in this field are really important on this issue mm -hmm. um and i'm gonna have to answer answer han's problem like why is malaysia the nominated entrant I think this is because Malaysia is one of the Belt and Road Initiative countries. And this year, we definitely, Chongqing has been collaborated with the country in many fields, in trading field, in investment field, in law field. So especially the logistics and importing and exporting field. So I think this is one of the reasons that Malaysia is one of the guest countries um this year uh, so that's why we just mentioned you and we hope you there was there to when introducing the beautiful country but um we still enjoy your company today guys and uh the last question i want to say and want to ask about is on this year's you know the wcifit this year you will go to the yeah. field, right? They go to the site to visit and to communicate with the excavators. So what are your primary areas of interest? Mm -hmm. Like which department or enterprise do you want to cooperate with? Yes, uh, I will go to this fair uh, this, afternoon, uh, this afternoon with my team. And uh, I'm very, very interesting about the uh, development of the digital uh, transformation and uh, uh, some practice uh, of some um, uh, industrial parks and uh, some uh, manufacturing factories and also some local governments. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, communicate with them face by face and um, uh, look for a hope to uh, reach some uh, cooperation insisted and uh, hopefully it's a good start. Yeah. So you definitely agree that there has been some really good chance on the fair, yes, right? Yes, for companies, for enterprises and leaders like you. Yeah, it's a very important uh, platform to communicate with uh, different people from different uh, area, different uh, country, yes.
Thank you, thank you, Mr. Huang Bo, for you. your uh, joining us today with your great insights of this industry. And I think that's it for today's show. You know, this is Ai Chongqing's I'm Bridging News Channel today, covering from the fifth Western China International Fair for Investment and Trade. This year, we are bringing you the opening China, the uh, high tech. Uh, technological feel for this development uh, in Chongqing and Western countries, uh, Western regions of China. And thank you guys for joining us and thank you for supporting our show. I hope you guys enjoy this content that we just brought you to visit. And st um, please stay tuned with that. I, I know you guys have some work to do because it's early morning in Western countries, but I know you guys um, are interested in this topic. I know there is going to be another episode of this uh, event in Chongqing. It's going to be hosting by Alex and his team. And we are really looking forward to this uh, cross-border e-commerce pavilions and other international pavilions in this event that Alex are about to show us today. So, I hope you guys stick with two with us. Um, that's it. That's it for today's show. Thank you, Kanjan. Thank you, Ju Yi, for the great introduction insight. And I'll see you guys on our next episode. And hope you guys will watch our next episode in this afternoon later today. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.